Hey guys, Miss Belle here, and today I am back with something special. I'm going to be doing for the next six days until up to Christmas Eve, and then I'll be doing a special collab with my cousin. Um, we, well, I will be making vlogs for your special attention, and we will be going on a journey. But we will be doing six days of till Christmas, which means today is the first day, and I'll be vlogging every day until up until Christmas. So I have some new. Th I have this new hat. Uh, well, it's not really new, but I found it the other day. So yeah, and also, you know what's really cool? I got Christmas lights above my bed. Like that's pretty freaking awesome. Christmas lights. Above my bed. That is awesome. Um, <laughs> um, but yes, um, that is that. Um, what else? Uh, today I'm not really doing anything special except for I'm sitting around and I'm going to be um <clears throat> eating breakfast and playing on my computer probably today. Um, not for that long. I might have a play date with a friend. Um, but I might not. Either one, I don't really know, but yeah. So I'm gonna be eating a breakfast in about a few minutes. Oh, look at how cute this is! He's a little ice skating penguin. His face is on backwards because it's supposed to be facing outside. So when you look in the window, this guy is supposed to be looking at you. And also, my little scarecrow. He's so cute. He has his little straw feet and his um. Leafy pants and his nice flannel button up and his pumpkin head and his hat and his little straw again. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, did I ever tell you guys I got a fish? He's a cutie, but the water's really nasty right now. So but here he is. His name is um Splat. Um, I'm getting him right now, sorry. You're there. You're sitting on my flower lamp right now. It's a good angle, though. Fishy food. Say hello, little guy. He looks dead right now because he's really doing nothing. Um, look at this pretty light I have. Mm -hmm. I think I've shown you that. Okay. But I think I've shown I think I've shown that to you guys before. Oh, look at my nails. I got, um, blue nails, or purple nails, or, I can't think of anything this morning. I have pink nails, like a boost. Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool that my mom did my nails. You know what's also really funny? There's this book called Ida Bee that I love, um, and I have two copies of it. Two copies of the same book. I think I might give one to a friend or something if they liked the book when they read it. Or I could give them a copy because I have two. So, there's that. Um, just some random things that I have. This rash in my hand. Which is suddenly starting to grow up this morning. Which, I don't know why, but my... My body has to be stupid in the morning. Except I don't have a hive on my eye like I usually do when I wake up on Saturdays. So I'm really happy about that. Um, what else? Uh, I'm trying to stay up in my room so that I don't bug anyone else. But I'm talking really loudly. So I'm bugging everyone else. <coughs> <coughs> oh yeah, and I also have that cough. So in these six days of Bell, I might be coughing a lot. Oh, yeah, I'll just put you right there. So in these six days of bells, I might be coughing a lot. So here's my room. I'm not holding you anymore. You're on a stand. A tripod stand. Oh, you're just sitting right there on my window ledge. So close off the edge. You're probably going to die today. Um, I don't know what to do. Oh, maybe I can... Read the first page and see if you guys would like to read this book. It's called Ida B. Um, and her plans to maximize fun, 
avoid disaster and possibly save the world. So we can probably read the first chapter if you guys want. Um, comment down below if you want more. This first chapter is only two pages, so you guys don't have to be worrying. All right, let's begin on chapter one. Ida B, Mama said to me on one of those days that start right and just keep heading toward perfect until you go to sleep. When you're done with the dishes, you can go play. Daddy and I will be working till dinner. Yes, ma'am, I said back. But I said it, I said it like this. Yes, ma'am. Because I didn't want, because I couldn't wait to get on with my business. I could all, I could hear the book calling me from, calling me through the back door screen. Come on out and play, Ida B. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I had three places I wanted to visit, six things I wanted to make, and two conversations I had hoped to have before dinner time. Mama was washing, Daddy was drying, and I was putting away the dishes from lunch. I knew that the moment I set the last pan in the place in this in its place, I was free. But the way those two were chatting and laughing and acting like we had next week to finish up. I could see it was going to be a while. My insides started itching and my feet started hoping one than the other because they were because they were ten minutes past ready to be and go. Past being ready to go. Sorry, I'm not gonna read. So I decided to speed things up a little bit. Daddy Daddy'd hand me a dish. I'd sprint to the cupboard and put it away. Race back again and put my hand out for the next one. With my right foot tap, tap, tapping, the seconds were ticking by. Hold your horses, Ida B. Daddy told me. There's plenty of time to do whatever you're planning. And he passes me a plate, slow and easy. Well, that stopped me in my tracks, because what Daddy said might have seemed all right to him, but it was sitting about two miles beyond wrong with me. I wasn't going to be able to put away another teaspoon until I set things straight. Daddy, I said, and I, and I wait, and I waited until he was looking at me before I went on. Yes, Ida B. He answered, turn, turning toward me, staring and staring right into his eyeballs. I said, "There is never enough time for fun for me." Daddy's eyes opened wide. For a half of a second, I wondered if I was in for something cl close to trouble. But the two ends of his mouth turned up just a little. I had to be, he told the ceiling, while he shook while he shook his head. Hmm, Mama said, like a smile. S -s like a smile would sound if it could. As soon as Daddy handed me the big frying pan... I set it in the drawer next to the oven, and I was on my way. Come on, Rufus, I called to Daddy's old floppy-eared dog, who was napping under the <coughs> table. You can come, too, so you'll have some company. Now, a school of goldfish could swim to the swimming pond, could swim in the pool of drool, that the dog makes when he's sleeping. But as soon as he heard my name as he and saw me heading outside, he jumped up, cleaned up the extra slobber on his mouth, and in two and a half seconds' time, he was waiting for me at the back door. So that is chapter one. Um, if you guys want to read more, it's called Ida B. You can get this probably at the library, or you can get it at probably Anderson's Bookstore or something like that. Um... So, yeah, I will see you guys next time or tomorrow. Um, yes, I will see you guys tomorrow for the second day of Six Days of Bell. Uh, well, Six Days Till Christmas, I guess you could say. And I'll be wearing this hat, by the way, all throughout the week. So, yeah, I hope I can see you guys next time. If you subscribe, if you haven't already, and leave me a like, it helps me a lot. I will see you guys next time. Bye!